hi hope you've had a good week i am feeling a lot more positive than i was last week i have kind of just had one of those weeks where i've not really felt the need to like go off plan like every day like through the week i had like really healthy lunches i had good on plan dinners and i wasn't snacking in the evening or if i was snacking it was sugar-free jelly which is half a sin or hi-fi bars whereas normally I would have like a chocolate bar in the evening that's how I would use my sins so yeah I wasn't having like my full 15 sins every single day which is what I normally do and I was definitely much better at snacking so I kind of had a really good week and then the weekend I had two off-plan meals which were planned because I knew that I was like going out and stuff but the rest of the time I stuck to it so I yeah I feel like I've had a good week. I unfortunately don't have a weigh in this week because I'm going away for the weekend on Thursday first thing in the morning. I have tonight in the flat and then tomorrow I am work all day and I'm not going to go home to half ten because I've got choir. So tonight is the only time I have to pack a suitcase and like wash clothes and stuff. So I had to book a holiday in for class but it means that when I go back next week it'll be a two week weigh in. Um, I've also I've weighed myself at home. I think I weigh like completely different to when I'm at um, class though because if it was based on my weigh-in last week then it, according to my scales I've put on three pounds and I know that is definitely not true because I feel like I've lost weight. So um, what I'm going to do though is when I come back from my weekend away I'll weigh myself again and then I'll have like a kind of comparison to today and I'll know like if I need to go like sin free for a couple of days before a weigh in or if I can just be normal. So yeah as promised last week I have got uh, another food diary for you because last week's was pretty rubbish. I am going to put some pictures up on the screen and I'm just going to chat through my little food diary here because I've been writing everything down all week. So if we start with Monday, um, for lunch I had my Tesco pick boxes again. So I had chicken, um, pea and edamame, carrot sticks, um, falafel and hummus. And then I followed that up with a high fibre bar. In the evening I made chilli with Mexican rice, which was about one and a half sins, it was microwave rice. And then I had some popcorn, which is four and a half sins, and a Diet Coke in the evening. On Tuesday, I don't have a picture of this, but I had chicken and duck sushi from Tesco, which I think was about six sins for the pack, but I basically like picked out, I picked the middle bits out of each of the bit of sushi and ate them and didn't eat any of the rice. So I've guessed about two sins, I just wasn't enjoying it at all. And I had a hi-fi bar after that. For dinner, I made salmon stir fry. So I had onions, mushrooms, baby corn, monge too, with noodles and soy sauce. And a little bit of mushroom rice, which I'm guessing about half a sin for. I think it's like two cents for the packet, but I only had um, like two tablespoons worth of that. During the day, actually, again, not pictured, I had a cup of tea with one sugar, which is one sin, and a little biscuit, which I'm guessing is about three cents. It's when I was out at a meeting. Wednesday I had a hi-fi bar for breakfast and then another hi-fi bar in the afternoon. I went out for a work lunch and I had a chicken and bacon salad um, which had like some vinaigrette on it which wouldn't have been fat free and the bacon had fat on it so I've guessed about nine cents for that to be quite conservative. Um, in the evening I went to choir and I had a tea with sugar, so that's one sin, and then a chocolate digestive which is three and a half sins. On Thursday I had a hi-fi bar for breakfast with a cup of tea, again with one sugar. I need to buy some sweetener to have it work because otherwise I have to sin sugar every single time which is annoying. Then a very similar lunch to Monday, so like the pick boxes again, I've counted about three sins for the dip there. Followed that with a Miller Light, and for dinner I made cottage pie and I've counted one sin. What did I count the sin for? I think it's maybe gravy granules or something. On Friday, again, I had tea and sugar for breakfast with a hi-fi bar. Um, and then for lunch, I had pick boxes again and a Miller Lite and another hi-fi bar. And for dinner, I made wrapless fajitas. So that was with peppers um, on a bed of spinach, a bit of cheese from Healthy Extra A, refried beans, which are free, um, and a bit of rice as well, and some jelly. So on Saturday, I started with three Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages which are six sins in total with a little mushroom omelette and then in the afternoon I had a hi-fi bar. I was out on Saturday night for dinner with some friends and I ended up having like a chicken burger, some cocktails and peanut butter cheesecake so no idea the sin value of any of them but it's obviously very high. Then on Sunday I went out for lunch again so I had some sort of black pudding thing to start on a bed of salad and then croque monsieur with chips um, for the main. And then for the dinner that night, I made us a beef casserole, which was completely sin-free. 
um, with roast potatoes and then some jelly and a hi-fi bar in the evening. So most days there I was within the 15 cents apart from the Saturday and Sunday so I feel like that was a pretty good week. Um, this week I'm going away for the weekend Thursday to Sunday so it'll probably be quite hard to stick to since then but I think the rest of the week I well so far this week I've been on plan and when I come back I will be as well so I think hopefully it'll balance out but yeah, like I said, next week I'll have my proper way in, so I'll let you know how I get on. And um, yeah, next week there won't be a food diary, but there will just be a video and it'll be an update on how I've got on. So yeah, hopefully you've had a good week. Let me know in the comments how you got on and I will see you next time. Bye!